What is up YouTube? Welcome back to another video. In today's video, we have a treat for you. We have a brand new ghost hunting game. Yes, you heard me right. A brand new ghost hunting game. The developers had had said to me as well that you have to go in with a mindset of not phasmophobia. So get phasmophobia out of your mind. It's nothing like that. As you can see with the items, we have it's kind of, it reminds me of Demonologist a lot. Like the items remind me of Demonologist a lot. So that's kind of cool. So we've got flashlight, UV, lantern, EMF reader, writing book, alcohol, thermometer. So standard sort of stuff. And this spirit box, which for some reason I can't seem to get the spirit box to work. I, I don't know how. So we'll try and get it to work in the game. I'm not sure if we're going to be able to though. I'm not going to talk too much longer. We're just going to go straight into the game. It is extremely difficult. I'll tell you that right now, but we're going to go straight into the game. Uh, there's only one map, which is House on the Hill. So we're going to select that one. Obviously, it's a multiplayer game, but we're playing solo. Of course we are. We're going to go straight into it, and I'll see you at House of the Hill. So this is our UV lantern. Basically, the what we're looking for is we're looking for handprints or we're looking for footprints. If we find footprints, we have to follow the footprints to a location where the ghost has drawn a symbol using blood or I don't know what it's used, but the UV will pick it up. And then what we will do is we'll go into the journal and we will come across to here. And then you've got UV. You've got the cryptographic runes. You've got the esoteric runes, esoteric runes or esoteric and the occult runes. So each symbol obviously is in each section. I'm kind of learning this as I go as well. Like I said, I've only done a game or two. Um, then we've got the EMF reader, which obviously will do heartbeat. We'll do chaotic. We'll do wave like. We'll obviously see that as it goes. Um, Temperatures. Temperature is a bit of an odd one for me. I, I still can't quite work out how the temperature works because sometimes it drops instantly and then other times it goes back up. But like it's not fluctuating. It's just different rooms. So I don't know if that counts as fluctuations. You'll see what I'm on about when we get in. I do apologize about absolute rambling. I'm just I'm excited to play a new ghost hunting game. It's 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 refreshing to play a new ghost hunting game. Let's put it that way. Um, And this is actually kind of cool as well. Like I said, it reminds me of Demonologist, but a little bit different. You'll see what I'm on about. The ghosts, by the way. Yeah, no thanks. The ghosts are not fun. Okay. So there's also traps and stuff on the floor that we have to watch out for. That's upstairs. So there'll be like spike traps on the floor. Ah, uh, here we go. So footprints. So we follow the footprints. And then we've got a man with no arms or a man with lots of arms by the looks of it. So man with, is it that one? No, he had legs, right? Is it this one? Oh, I think it's that one. Yeah, it's that one. Okay, so it's an esoteric rune. So that one. Okay, so technically I can now drop that. Now the book, what we do is we scribble in the book until basically we start getting symbols. And then once we start getting symbols... We're getting closer to where the actual symbol is located. Um, now, there is breakers on this map, which is somewhere around here, this here. But I'll be honest with you, again, I don't really know how to use it. Because every time I try and put this inside the thing, it doesn't work. Watch it work now. It will probably work. Can't seem to put it in. I don't know if I'm just being stupid, though. Probably. I'm probably being stupid. Anyway, let me drop that on the floor. Because we're looking for... Okay, footsteps there. I think I've got thermo as well, right? Yeah, thermo. But I don't really want to be going in here. I want to kind of leave. Now, as I said, the ghosts are definitely terrifying, by the way. They are 100% terrifying. <coughs> oh! Jeez, that scared me. Okay, uh, up here. I just want to walk on some glass, which I think has alerted the ghost that where I am. Again, I'm still kind of learning as I go. Bathroom? No, nothing in the bathroom. We don't have crease fix or anything at the moment, so there is a good chance that we might die. Now, again, from what I understand, uh, the ghost 
doesn't kill you instantly. From what I've worked out. But it does kill you eventually. So I don't know if it's a sanity thing. It waits for your sanity to tank first. I also need to walk. Be careful where I'm walking as well. Because I could easily get stuck on a trap. Okay. So we're here. There is a... Did you guys just hear that? I just heard a door. Worrying. See that black stuff? Okay, this room is always... The ghost always decides to show up here for some reason. Oh! I don't know what that was. I don't know if I want to know. Yep. Okay, that's hunting. Yep, I'm going. Bye-bye. Okay. Looks like Siren Head. I don't know what the hell is following me, but that's not good. I'm running. I just need to remember the route. Uh, what in the F balls is that? Do I even want to know what that is? No, it's still hunting. It seems to know where I am, which I think there is actually a ghost that does do that. <coughs> Ow. Are you still following me? He's still following. Oh no. I think I've gone the wrong way. I have. Good, we're good, we're good. Turn that back on. Holy bananas, man. Right, I have not found a symbol yet. I don't think, anyway. I also wonder, there is a ghost that basically knows where you are. It's like an Iblis from Demonologist. Okay, so this door... So. Also, this door is basically the front door. So if this door, if you're inside this door and it hunts, this door will be locked and you won't be able to get back out. Um, you know what I'm going to go get? I'm going to go get the spirit box, I think. Yeah, let me go get the spirit box quick. I've never actually used the spirit box. This will be the first time using it. It's just going to be kind of weird. Uh, let's get out of here. It's quite a weird area because obviously all of that is safe. So I'm surprised to have such a big area like that. Oh, you know what I should have done? Oh. Yeah, I should have brought the EMF as well. Let's go in. I don't know what to expect with the spirit box. This thing is slow, though. Our only issue is going to be getting cut off. Oh, that's not good. We don't want to be going... Oh, no, we don't want to go near the eyeball weaver. I don't know what's going on. I'm going to guess that thing isn't happy. I don't know what that, what the hell I did. Right, let's drop this here. Oh! Okay, well, I think that ghost room is in the same spot, you know. I think it is. I think it's always in that spot. It is running. I'm dying. I'm stuck. I'm dead. I am so dead. I'm so dead. I don't even know where I am anymore. Oh my god, I can't believe I've got out. How the hell did I just get out of there? I've also just alerted the ghost as well. Oh, yeah, that's coming. Go this way, please. Oh, where am I going? Oh, he's come back. Oh, my goodness. I don't know what that thing is. <coughs> I've got time, mate. I cannot see anything. Oh, my sweet mother of Jesus. That was scary. All right. So the eyeball 
kind of slows you down, but I don't really understand how exactly it works. All I know is it slows you down, but there doesn't seem to be any way of, like, preventing it from attacking you. Still trying to find this stupid symbol as well. I think the ghost is up here, though. I'm pretty certain the ghost is up here. Right, give me this. It's over here somewhere. Oh! Okay, I'm going to guess it's here, then. So I'm going to guess that's fluctuations, right? Yeah, that's fluctuations. Okay. So drop, drop this if you can do. If this thing spawns on us now, we're dead. Where are you? Are you friendly? Are you friendly? Oh, wait, hang on. Two, three. Is this? I don't know what's going on. Hello, ghost. I have no interest in being friendly to strangers like you who invade my home. You remind me of the individuals who wronged me in the past, and I will not show kindness to those you dare address me as if we were acquainted. How bold of you to waltz into my abode uninvited. That got a little bit too real. <laughs> that scared the bananas out of me. Oh! I cannot see anything. Oh my god. Okay, everything's kind of graying out. This is not good. This is definitely not good. Um. Yeah. Wow. That was a that was a very intelligent conversation I just had. So did you hear that? Obviously. So it's it's basically AI voice, as in AI intelligence with the ghost. So the ghost actually understands what you're saying, and then will respond accordingly. So obviously you heard it have a proper discussion with me just then, saying you are very. I think I am actually about to die. What is my sanity? Uh, that's the signal meter. Okay, 30% sanity. Okay, well, that's not good, is it? Um, it's either a Raiju or Bake or Poltergeist. So, writing scribbles. Does any of them not have scribbles? Writing forms. Writing symbols. So, Poltergeist always knows where the nearest person is and slowly follows them. That would make sense. It did follow me the whole way. Oh, so does an Abake. An interesting kind of ghost, the same as a normal ghost, but walks through walls and objects. It's not that one. So it's either an Abake or a Poltergeist. Um, I can't go back in there because I don't have enough sanity. Oh, I'm going to have to guess, I think. I'm going to have to guess. And then maybe we can buy some like sanity pills and stuff in the next one. I think I'm going to go... I think I'm going to go Abake. I'm going to go Abake. It's probably going to be a Poltergeist, though. You can actually exercise it as well, but you need, like, the runes and stuff. Obviously, we don't have that at the moment. Let's go for an Abake. Let's go back to the post-game, and let's check to see if we were right. And there we go, guys. An Abake. Very nice. So we got uh, an extra $120 for that and 400 XP as well. Very nice. I like this little report at the end as well. That's kind of cool. Uh, let's drop this on the floor. Let's have a look. So we've now got $840 to spend. I think we definitely should get some pills, but I can't get it until I'm level five. That's kind of annoying. Let's get a cruise fix then as well. Oh, can we not get cruise fixes? Oh, it's because I'm not in the shop. I'm an idiot. So let's buy a cruise fix. Chalk. Basic chalk could be used to write on the board or to draw ritual symbols. Use it on mission to draw a pentagram for banishing ritual. Okay, so we need that for the ritual. Special candle made specifically to lock spirits inside a pentagram. Use it to perform banishing ritual along with chalk. An ordinary suit can use an effective means of transport a large. I like that. I like that. So basically. Instead of only having four slots, you can basically put a bunch of stuff in the suitcase and bring that in as your one slot. I like that. That's very cool. Yeah, that's very cool. Okay, so I've bought a cruise fix. I can't really... I've got camera as well, but I don't really want to use that. I 
Can't do anything else. We need to level up a bit more first. Maybe I do actually buy two. Yeah, let's do. Let's go two cruise fixes. I don't know how to exercise the ghost just yet, so let's not let's not worry about just that. Maybe we'll do that in the next video. Maybe if we got time to do it in this one, we'll try. But I don't think we're going to be able to. Let's do add both grease fixes. Come with me, my friend. All right. Let's go back to the same map again. House on the hill. And I'll see you in the map. All right, guys. Here we go. Game number two. So. That spirit box is creepy. That spirit box is very creepy. All right, cruise fix. What does it look like? Kind of cool. Kind of cool. All right. We won't take that in just yet because I don't think we need that just yet. We're going to need to level up though, definitely. Yeah, we're definitely going to need to level up on this. So I'm going to do the same again, I think. Yeah, I think I'm going to do the same again. Yeah, I kind of want to bring a cruise fix in though, you know. I don't know. I don't know what the play is just shit. Is there another door? No, okay. Right, so I'm I'm still like I said, I'm still trying to learn some stuff out. So I think maybe we need to try and find out what the So is baseline zero then? Is that what base baseline is? Let's unlock the door. We've got something going on right away. Hello, ghost. I'm here. So what? That's going all the way up to 20 degrees. I hate this room. This room sucks the most. So 20 degrees, that's pretty hot. Is that because it's 20 degrees everywhere? 20 degrees seems to be the norm at the moment. Oh, we're getting cold. Oh, just heard something. Just heard something else. I'm freezing. It's freezing. It's freezing. Cooling. Anything in here? I'm going to guess not. I'm, he I'm hearing a lot of noise. Oh! I'm dead. I'm dead. Uh, I'm dead. I mean, I'm not dead, but I'm, I'm in trouble. Where is she? Oh, she's there. Hello. I'm gonna go this way. Run, you idiot. Run! Oh, we got away. No way. You still... Yes, you're still coming. Alright, well, it can't go through... I think it's still coming, so let's just keep running. Okay, they're the spike traps that I'm on about. I've just alerted it where i am that's really smart where's the oh that's upstairs i don't really want it upstairs downstairs okay here we go all right we're in a good spot we're in a good spot we're okay we're not okay okay i think i'm okay now Stop hunting. Wow. Okay, this thing was just in the corner like an absolute creepo. Jeez. That's not fun. All right, there's um. So, wait, is it. Oh, no way. We found the symbol. No, it's back here. There we go. Symbols. Very nice. Oh, okay. Uh, forms, I think that is. I think I'm dead. Uh, the occult, maybe? Oh, wait, no, I'm looking for... No, that's right. No, that's the UV. Oh, there we go. That's what I'm looking for. Writing forms. Yeah, definitely that one. Okay. I'm dead. Oh! I'm so dead. Anyone remember how the hell to get out of here? Holy crap. I'm dead. And this is death to me. I don't know where she is. I have no idea how I've just got round her. I need to know where the... Are you actually joking me? Why did I just see red then? Holy bananas, what is going on? This thing is pretty active. Also, I just saw red. I'm seeing red. 
Why? Oh my sweet mother of Jesus. I don't know how I just got around that thing. I just walked on the same things again as well. I think I'm I think I'm good. Shade mimic on Rio or Jin. Okay, well let me walk around with this now. Hopefully it's not still hunting. I don't see footsteps anywhere. I just need to remember the location of each like room and stuff. If we can nail down like the mat, we'll be fine. Because there's some crazy loops on this game. Like, there's one massive loop and we're just absolutely abusing it right now. Like, you can't still be hunting. You in here, maybe? <coughs> oh! <coughs> Jesus Christ, man. Right, we're going up in the attic. This might be a bad idea because I think there's only one way in or out. Yeah, I'm dead. I'm good there. Oh, I can't actually get out. Yeah, I'm dead. Gonna hide in the corner. Wait, she can get me. Wait, what? Oh, I'm in a god spot. She can't get me. No way. All right, they're definitely gonna patch that, but <laughs> oh well, I'm gonna take it. Right, let's have a look. What have we got to do? So we've got Shade. Always knows where the nearest person is, slowly follows them through. No, I mean, it's not that one. Are you coming back? No. Mimic, an interesting kind of ghost, the same as a normal ghost, but walks through walls and objects. Okay. It's not that. It speeds up when someone look at it, so it's better not to turn around. Slow when looked at, but not enough to run away. To survive, try to walk while looking at him. It's not that. I think it's an Omrio, you know. I think it's an Omrio. I think. It's either an Omrio or a Jin, Because it's not, it's not teleporting towards stuff. Oh, here we go. This is what I was looking for, I think. Yeah, this is exactly what I was looking for. Right, I'm kind of looking for footsteps now as well. We can potentially loop stuff in here, I think. Yeah, there is there is a few loops in here. I think what we'll do is, if it does come up here, we'll just loop it and then we'll go back. Although, to be fair, can I just hide in these little spots? I might be able to, you know. I think we'll just have to loop it, though. Yeah, I think so. Okay. Oh, and he stepped on it. All right, but it's not up here. You suck, mate. How is that fair? I mean, I'm I'm definitely dead. Where is it? I just stepped on the spikes. I'm so dead. I don't know where she is. I don't know where she is. I'm just going to go back to the god spot. I'm going back to the god spot. Are you fast? Oh, yeah! Oh my god, that's horrifying. That's horrifying. Did you see her running? No, 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 no. It speeds up when someone looks at it, so better not to... Yeah, it's an Omrio. It's definitely an Omrio. Holy bananas. That is terrifying. Oh my goodness. All right, well, we know what it is now. So what are we actually looking for? Uh, So it would be cryptographic rune and emf would be chaotic but we don't need to do it because we know we know what it is so here's the hope in that it's not still hunting we just need to remember not to look at it as long as we don't look at it i think we should be fine i think i obviously don't know no i'm not looking at you we're friends we're friends Okay. Where am I? Yeah, this is fine. This is fine. In fact, it's so fine. Oh, I can't turn the breaker on. That sucks. I don't know where it is. Yes! Why do I feel like she's fast even when I'm not even looking at her? No, I don't think she is. But it's terrifying, nonetheless. I just need to get out. She 
does seem to know where I am all the time, though, which is kind of upsetting. All right, yeah, we're back here again. This is fine. I think it's... I think this one is constantly hunting. I think. Get me out of here. Oh my god. The ghost is <laughs> the ghost is terrifying. I think they need some sort of music though. Like, actually, do they? Because you can kind of hear it running. I don't know. I don't know if they do. But let's go to the post game. Let's make sure it was an Omrio. I'm pretty certain it must have been. Because that definitely was speeding up as we were looking at it. Which is, again, I that's what I love the most about Phasmophobia. And to be fair, Demonologist now as well. But the different characteristics that you can tell from each ghost, that's what makes a good ghost hunting game for me. So if they can focus on that, I think that would be insane. Here we go, guys. Again, on Rio. One times multiplier. $120 again. 400 XP. How much have we just gone up level-wise? Man, we are not going up very high. Okay. That kind of sucks because I'd love to be able to test out some other stuff as well. Maybe we go in the cruise fix next time. Maybe. The, what I don't understand is, though, is what's the point in the spirit box? That's what I don't get. Because realistically, it doesn't give us an evidence. So why do we need to talk to it? What we'll do is we're going to another one. I'm going to quickly, obviously you guys aren't going to see this bit, but I'm going to quickly read the exorcism part, see how easy it is, see if we can do it. If we can do it, then I'll buy the ritual candles and the chalk and we'll take it in with us. All right, guys, game number three. And I think, I think, as you can see, I have brought the stuff in. I think we can do the exorcism. I'm not entirely sure how it works. It says basically you have to use, this is why... I have to read stuff before I start commenting on stuff. So the spirit box is basically to find out information from the ghost. So when it talks to you, it gives you vital information of what you need to do to exercise the ghost, which is kind of neat. I like that because then it makes it like important to actually turn it on. Kind of cool. All right. Well, let's go in with the normal sort of stuff. Let's find out what ghost it is first. The problem is, is I don't have sanity pills. I think you, they should have, they should change it to level one players can have sanity pills because realistically they want us to be in as much as possible, not just dip in, dip out. So yeah, I don't know. I think they need to change that, but let's, uh, let's go in with the normal sort of stuff again. I am going to take, yeah, just this stuff, I think. Right, let's do it. I was thinking about buying a camera as well, but I just think it's going to be too risky. So I didn't bother. <laughs> Maybe next time. Okay, let's walk around with... What do we do? Thermo first or do we do book first? I think realistically, I like to walk around with this. Double light? Double double lights. Just absolute pros over here. Let's get inside. Hello, ghost. Right, well, let's, let's find the route that we need to go first. We need to unlock everything first so we can find how to get around. So if I start opening the doors... I don't know if that means it's in here with me, you know. Right, this is the door to upstairs. This is fine. Right, I, I haven't seen footsteps yet, so I think we're all right. Let me try and find... Let me try and find the footsteps first. We just need to locate, like, the loop. If we can find the loop, everything else is fine. If we lose our loop, we're basically dead. There's spikes there. We need to try and remember that. There's glass there as well. The ghost definitely hunts a lot though, right? It's not just me. I feel like it hunts loads. But maybe it's specific ghosts that hunt loads. Uh, the ghost might be in there. Oh, yes. Footsteps. Perfect. There we go. I don't know what that is. Are you hunting? I don't know if it's hunting. I just saw something blink. Oh! It's the eyeball thing. I think it's above me. Yeah, it is. Okay. It's freezing in here, though. Yeah, it's definitely freezing in there. Oh, I'm dead. That sounds incredibly quick. Okay. I need to look at her.
Oh my sweet Jesus. This is impossible. How the hell? Oh wait. Nope, I'm dead. I think I'm I think I'm dead. I don't know what's happening. For some reason she's not following me. I don't know if that's because I'm looking at her. So she's stuck. It's like Weeping Angel, where when she gets within a certain distance. Uh, kind of like a Dio. Now she's gone. Interesting. All right, well, it's definitely in that room. We know where the room is. We found the ghost room. It's the, it's the bathroom, which is kind of cool. I just need to find... So I wonder if the eyeball means where the ghost room is. Definitely not in here. I didn't mean to do that. So it's in here, right? Yeah, it's definitely in here. Okay. This is the attic. We might need to go up there. Is it the bathroom, I think? Yeah. No, nothing at the moment. I kind of want it to hunt again to see if it's, uh... I thought we were going into the basement. To see if it's, um... If it is what I think it is and it just stops when it gets close to us. Because that's fine. I will 100% be fine with that. I need to... I wonder if there's a really easy way to work out where the, uh, the scribbles go. Like, if you can easily work it out. It's not over here. I feel like it's in the attic. Because we haven't picked up anything. And I think the range is quite far, to be fair. Yeah, it's definitely not in here. The range is way too far. I don't know where that was. I think this is more like an eye bliss. So I think it will know where we are, but it won't get close to us. Or too close to us, I should say. I think I need to go in the attic. I can't remember exactly where it is. Maybe we don't get scribbles. No. Okay, this way. Okay, this is where the ghost room is. So shut the door as well. I don't know what just happened, but I think I nearly just died. Right, let's go upstairs. We've got the god spot as well. Don't forget god spot. I'm going to die. Never mind. Maybe it doesn't know where I am. What a weird ghost. Hello, ghost. Okay, yep, I think it's coming. It sounds like it's in the attic next to me. Hello, ghost. Can you come find me? I don't know what's going on. What did we get, by the way? I didn't even check to see... What the symbols were. What symbol was it? Do you remember? I think it was like a... I think it was one like this. I think it was that. Yeah, it was that one. Esoteric. Okay. Esoteric. Ride you shade. Okay. I don't know if you're still hunting. It's got to be in here, the scribbles. I think, anyway. Let me pick up a fuse. I haven't worked out how to do the fuse just yet. It sounds like it's right behind me. Okay, well, I'm guessing this ghost doesn't have scribbles because I've been everywhere now. The only thing I can think of is that maybe it's in... Maybe it's where the breaker is. In the garage. I think it might be down there, you know. 
This thing hunts. We're dead. It's like right here. Okay. Okay. I can definitely hear it. Hello, ghost. Come find me. I kind of want it to find me. I can hear you walking. Come on. You can do it. Can you come find me? Yes, you. Come on. Up the stairs. It sounds like it's in the attic right next to me. It sounds like it's in here. Hello, ghost. All right, so it doesn't pick up my voice. Oh, I just saw it. I just saw its head. Hello, ghost. Over here. I'm extremely scared. Because I think this thing is rapid. Like... Like, rapid, rapid. You in here? No, you're not in there. All right, let's just run. Um, I think it might... It might be garage, I think. I, I'm not sure, though. I don't... Oh, no! I'm dead. Oh. Oh! I'm definitely dead. Oh! Right, I'm in the garage. gonna hide in the corner this thing is non-stop hunting by the way are you in here you're not in here either is there a ghost that doesn't do writing 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 now they all do writing Okay, yeah, I definitely don't know. I'm so dead. I don't know what's going on. I can't tell if this thing's still hunting or what. Right, let's turn that on. That light is on. Can I turn... Yeah, I don't know how to put the fuses in. Because basically, the more fuses you have in, the more lights you can have on. Which, again, I think is really cool. I think that's a really good way of doing it. But I can't seem to put it in. No, I definitely can't seem to put it in. So, yeah, I don't know about that. Let me drop that on the floor. Uh, I don't know where the scribbles are, then. Oh, no, we're finding it. Yep. I just saw it. it I just had X marks the spot. Yep, yep. There we go. Okay, we just had... Um, I don't know what we just had. I just... Oh, God. I need to get out of here. Ooh, okay. So, scribbles. We just had... Uh, what did we just have? Wrong way. Uh, so we had writing forms. Mimic, shade, or bake. So interesting kind of goes the same as the normal ghost, but walks through walls. It's not that one. Always knows where the nearest person is, slowly follows them through obstacles. No. Always knows where the nearest person is and slowly follows them. No. No way. Maybe it's not an esoteric then. What's I can no. It's something fast. Very fast and dangerous. Not every man can escape, but luckily he can't see very well. Could be. It speeds up when someone looks at it, so it's better not to turn around. Okay. Did it speed up? No, it slowed down when we looked. It slowed when looked at, but not enough to run away. To survive, try to walk while looking at him. Okay. Stops walking when you look at him, but when his patient runs out, he starts running after you. It's a Gorio. Weakness, human eye. It's a Gorio. It has to be. I banished the presence of... So that's the that's the thing. 
That's how we do the exorcism, but I don't know how we actually do it, do it. Temperature fluctuations, writing forms, and EMF heartbeat. We never bring the EMF in, to be fair. Let me go grab the chalk quickly. Like I said, I don't know if I'm going to be able to do this because my sanity is clearly very low because I am, I am blacking out right now. I'm going black and white. This is not good. So what's my sanity? 40%. Come on, mate. Grow up. I could do I could do 40%, mate. Um let's do So that's a ritual candle, right? Okay. How do I know? How the hell do I know what one it is? I mean, I, I suppose I could do it like this is a ghost and just kind of just see which one catches it, I guess. Well, it's a Goryeo, so it stops attacking us when we look at it, right? So I'll tell you what, let's go to... We've got the chalk as well. Can we do this as many times as we want, or... Or is it a one-use one use thing? Oh, I think it's a one-use thing. That's annoying. All right, well, let's... Let's see what happens. Hopefully this doesn't drag on too long for you, but let's uh, let's see what happens. We know it's a Goryeo, so we know we can just kind of look at it and it won't attack us, which is kind of fine, I guess. I feel like we are probably going to die, though. I do think we're going to die here. So let's... Um, let's see, I guess. All right, mate. Let's, uh, let's do this. I don't... Okay, you're right here. How do I... Hello? Okay, apparently I can't do it now. Why can't I do the... Can I only do... Oh, there we go. Why can I only do it there? That's weird. Can I put it in there? I can't put it in there. I'm not really looking where... All these lights are on as well, by the way. Like, all of them. I've got my... Cru oh, my God. Oh, wait. I've just dropped my crucifix. No, 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 no. Get out, get out, get out, get out. I'm going to die. Okay. It's definitely a Gorio. I've also just lost this. I'm not looking at you. Hoo -hoo! I kind of want you to just go into this. Oh, God, this is going to be terrifying, by the way. Oh, man. That's not fun. How do I... um? I don't want to keep looking at because I'm dead. I'm apparently not dead. It also just walked into my exorcism and I have no idea what just happened. Okay. I mean, we're definitely safe from that thing. What? Oh, it's another eyeball. I need to get out of here. Um, it's this way. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get out, though. That's the problem. Uh, let's go this way. Oh, man. This sucks. This definitely sucks. Nope. Not today, my friend. Oh, my goodness. That door should be shut now, I think. Yeah, it's shut. Okay. I don't actually think he can come out. He probably can. Let's go back to the post game. It has to be a Gorio, right? A 100%. I do like that about the characteristics, although I think they might need to change it so it's not quite as easy. But yeah, that's not... How much sanity did I lose out of all of that, by the way? I was 40%, right? I didn't lose much. 5%. Yeah, I also don't really understand how the exorcism works, so we'll have to try and figure that out. But let's go to the post game, make sure it was a Gorio.
Apparently it was a gin. Slow wind looked down, but not enough to run away. To survive, try to walk while looking at him. What? No, it was a Gorio. Stop walking when stops walking when you look at him, but when his patient runs out, he starts running at you. That that's literally what happened. I think that might be bugged. Maybe. That's definitely a Gorio. That wasn't a gin. There's no way that was a gin. Yeah, I'm pretty certain we got screwed there. That kind of sucks. Yeah, that kind of sucks. But oh well, we survived at least. We didn't lose anything, so that's fine by me. We didn't get any money though, which kind of sucks. We didn't go up in level. So I'll probably have to grind offline for a bit just so I can get some of these items. Because I definitely want to use the uh, the pills and the prayer scroll as well. would be kind of cool. But the pills definitely, because that means I can just keep going in and out. I've got a feeling they're going to be mega as well. They're probably going to be like 250. Yeah, they probably are. That's going to suck. But, oh well. There we go, guys. Hopefully you guys did enjoy a brand new ghost hunting game. I will be playing this a lot more. I think as they improve it, as they update it, I think this can be a very good game. There's a few things they need to tweak. Certainly access, though. So naturally there, there will be. But um, I'm looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to adding this one into the mix. We have so many horror games to play at the moment. It's I'm struggling to find time to play them all. We still got to play some Forewarn still. We got to go back to Ghost Exile. So there's so many games that I want to carry on playing. But like I said, there's just not enough time in the day to play them all but i am going to add this into the mix as well because i do think it's a lot of fun i think this can be terrifying it's almost got it's got demonologist vibes definitely like the art style and stuff and like the actual items definitely so yeah i'm going to add this into the mix hopefully they car carry on like you know updating it and stuff i'm sure they will if they are if you guys are watching this the devs if you're watching this Give me like uh, some hints, some tips. That'd be amazing, especially on the exorcism, because I couldn't see anything in the book about how to do the exorcism. So if you want to leave any comments or any tips, that'd be amazing. But yeah, there we go, guys. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. If you did enjoy, you know what to do. Smash the like button. It helps that channel loads. And if you want to see more content, not necessarily of this game, can be any horror game, consider subscribing. We have a ton of videos on the channel already. And we'll have a ton more coming as well. So you will enjoy it. But yeah, guys, thank you very much for watching. Have a lovely rest of the day. I'll catch you next one.